Hey guys, Christina Ritchie. Let's talk wrists. Vertical hinge and horizontal hinge. All right, but let's go ahead and warm up the wrists. And this is actually a TPI assessment too. So just extend your arm straight out. Oh my God, I'm so tight. And go up and down. All right, so this is considered horizontal hinge and it's a really good warm up because it takes your forearm and gives it a nice little stretch. It stretch, stretches your wrist area here, so if you're tight. The other thing you can do for your wrists, I'll get down to the ground here. Really good wrist opener is to go ahead and just get your palms facing the ground, just like this. All right, this is really, really awesome. Only do this if it feels awesome. All right, someone that's super mobile can actually sit back on their heels. You know, I'm not super mobile. This is good enough for me, all right? The other one is just extend your arms out like this. All right, so this gets your horizontal hinge. All right, so we want to make sure our wrists are mobile. And your wrist could be out of alignment too. All right, so if your wrists are out of alignment, have some, a buddy do a test. Hold your fingers together and, and then have your buddy try to pull the fingers apart. All right, if they're, they come apart easily, your wrists are out of alignment. So make sure you see a CCEP, I'll leave the link below. It's a certified chiropractic extremity practitioner, which is completely different from a regular chiropractor. They're made for golfers, all right? Because we go out everywhere, our wrist, our ribs, our hips, ankles, elbows, neck, collarbone, all right? Golfers get out of alignment, so it's important to take care of your body. All right, so let's talk about vertical and horizontal hands. Okay, because I find that, especially newer players, they don't hinge properly, primarily because of their grip. All right, so the first thing to check is make sure you have a nice grip. Just make sure it's in the fingers, all right? That's the key so you can hinge. And then just work with a golf professional to find out if you need a, a neutral or a stronger grip. But you need the club in the fingers so it can hinge properly. All right, so now we've got vertical hinge, boom, which happens right during the takeaway or like where the lead arm is parallel to the ground. We got some nice vertical hinge. And then here at the top, we just have a little horizontal hinge. All right, so there's our horizontal hinge holding the pizza tray. All right, so that's it for the hinging. All right, and then we're just gonna release that down through the ball. So the hinge helps to create the lever. All right, so the golf swing is a lever. The arm is a lever, the golf swing is a lever. So the hinge helps us release that where we're gonna create this beautiful L and lose that L when we rotate through. If we don't have that, say our grip is too tight and we're trying to muscle it, you can't let the club swing. All right, I see this a ton, especially with, especially with guys, sorry guys. All right, but they're trying to muscle it. All right, so they're not letting the club swing. Hinge and unhinge. So a great drill is just to do the L to L. You don't even need a ball. Boom, boom. Let the club hinge and unhinge. All right. Another scenario is a player when they do their backswing, they don't have any vertical hinge, so it kind of looks like this. All right, the arms get way behind them, and all they have is horizontal hinge. All right, so typically when a player gets in this position, they have to go that way. All right, so over the top, smother. All right, this player with too much vertical hinge will get too elevated, like that typically. All right, and this is just the extremes I'm talking about. But I see this a ton with the campers. They either have too much vertical or too much horizontal. So we want a nice blending. All right, so we're gonna take the club back, make sure we're rotating with our hips and our torso, nice. The club will work up a little bit, complete our rotation, we're done. All right, so we take the club back, boom. The hands are low, the club head is low. The club's naturally gonna hinge, because I get this question a lot. Christina, when, when should I hinge? All right, because I see a lot of players early hinging, like that, they're trying to hinge right out of the gate. And look what that does, it shortens your swing radius. All right, we want a long, wide swing radius so we can kill it. All right, if you add a ton of hinge right out of the gate, you're shortening your swing radius. All right, yeah, you may have a lot of hinge, but you're, you have no width. So we wanna blend that. We want width, 
So that's why I like a one piece takeaway where we take the club back in one piece like that. The club is low, hands are low. All right, we add a little rotation and we're done. We've got the pizza tray at the top and we had our vertical as the club was getting lead arm parallel. All right, that to me is a good blending of vertical hinge and horizontal hinge. All right, so if you have any questions about this, leave a comment. I'll be sure to answer future tips.